Jeopardy! Champ Adriana Harmeyer stayed winning on Thursday, raking in a promising two-day total of $46,200 and plenty of praise from fans. She trounced Sandy Baker and Brad Miller who heard it from Ken Jennings for an off-the-mark music answer in an all-out runaway. The Indiana Art Archivist was back for more after a strong $26,200 debut win on Wednesday. Everyone was looking to see if she could have the season's next big streak after such a big first win. In the Jeopardy! round, despite a blank on a $2,000 daily double, Adriana stormed ahead with $9,000, Brad had $1,600, and Sandy $1,800. In double Jeopardy, things got testy when a third eye blind clue went less than pitch perfect. Ken, 49, read, This ordinal band sang about a semi charmed kind of life in a song with a lot of do do do, do 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 do's. Brad incorrectly guessed, three doors down to which Ken ruled with a blunt, no. Sandy buzzed in next with the made up band Third Day, to which Ken more gently said, also incorrect, and she cringed. Adriana saved the day by correctly guessing the post grunge band Third Eye Blind as everyone nervously laughed, and Ken assured, You got there, yes. From there, Adriana didn't look back, adding $4,000 on the second daily double, while Brad and a distant third added $500 on the last one. Nearly two thirds into the round, it was already game over, meaning her opponents were just playing for fun, while Adriana never had a moment of struggle leading at every break. By final jeopardy, she cruised to a runaway with $22,200 and 28 correct responses, two incorrect, while Brad had $3,700 and Sandy had $3,000. The American banking clue read, around 1930 a bank named for this NYC area known as a slum was the USA's largest savings bank by total deposits. Only Brad was correct with Bowery, and Ken struggled to hide his surprise he got it. Adriana only dropped $2,200 to win $20,000 in a no-nonsense two-day total. Very impressive. Fans took to social media buzzing about the sudden power player and predicting she'd make the next tournament of champions already. Great game by Adriana, and she feels like she has a good shot at four or more at this rate, one Redditor wrote. Adriana got to respond to 30 clues and got 28 of them correct. Very impressive, wrote another. Adriana will face two more challengers tomorrow night to see if she can spend the weekend as a three-day champion. So far, the qualifiers for the next talk, all female, are five-day winners Allison Betts and Dr. Amy Hummel and Celebrity Jeopardy, S. Lisa and Walter. That said, with four wins, Grant DeYoung and Amarka Curdy will likely join the fray as well. Adriana is a clinical assistant professor in Archivist University History in Purdue University's Archives and Special Collections. She said in a recent interview that she took the show's online test for fun and was blindsided to be contacted a few weeks later. I had taken the online test a couple of times before, but this time I'd went online one evening and took the test for fun. I didn't expect anything to come out of it, I just thought of it as another fun internet quiz. During Adriana's first win, opponent Brian O'Shea suffered a painful daily double miss that Ken didn't exactly sugarcoat. Brian found the last daily double under White House weddings for $1,600 and opted to wager $6,000, or nearly his entire third-place score, to get in the game. The clue read, the first ceremony was in 1812 when Lucy Payne Washington, this first lady's sister, married Supreme Court Justice Thomas Todd. Instantly grabbing onto the Washington part of the clue, he quickly and confidently replied, Martha Washington.